Hey, what's up everyone? Today it's Wednesday. Let's go for Wednesday take. So, as you have seen the title, so today in Wednesday Tech, we'll talk about the ballast. So, what I can say about the ballast? In first, why use ballast? So, um, as you know, today's gliders are lighter and lighter and lighter and stronger and stronger and stronger. Because the gliders are lighter and lighter, they are optimized for flying in super light condition, be really easy to launch because if it's more lighter, it's really easier to accelerate and then to launch higher so it's why today's glider are really lighter than before and it's why too they need really more ballast so um, many gliders don't need that much uh, of ballast as a blaster 3 by example but they need a lot of ballast anyway if you take a look at the snipe for example uh, at the World Championship, in really, really rough condition, uh, I know some people flew the snipe at 450 grams ready to fly. This is super heavy. So, th there you need a real shoulder for launch this glider. <laughs> yeah, you need a super strong arm, etc. But I will explain why that heavy. As I said, today's glider are super light and they need to carry a lot of weight because if you are in super turbulent condition, in super windy condition, you need more inertia, you need more flying speed, you need uh, more stability and this is what ballast will provide you. Why it provides you more inertia, more stability, etc. More speed. The speed is only uh, increased by um, for the same sink rate you will go faster so um, if you fall of one meter um, and uh, for 15 meters horizontal with so I would say this bank angle like this uh, the speed will increase really faster with a heavier model if it's the same model heavier will go faster so it's why ballast help to come back from downwind because when you are falling your glider just accelerates more quickly and this is all why many people use ballast only for come back from downwind and um, it's not the only way to use the ballast you can use it for stabilize the glider when it's gusty and turbulent not really super windy I did that many times in contest and people was flying near to empty or empty and me I was flying with 40 or 60 or 80 grams of ballast. It, it could look super heavy but it was super easy to fly because thermal was just super bumpy this day and all gliders are doing like this, like this, like this, me I was... Yes, it was a bit more difficult for quick turn, I agree but... Um, it was so much easier for fly and this is all what you need to think what is the easiest to fly and if it's a bit more ballasted because you need to fly uh, heavier for be more stable more balanced it all this then put ballast by talking about the balance how you balance your ballast to the right CG so have you have seen, I uh, have a piano wire there and this piano wire has uh, a vertical part and a bump like this and a certain length. So uh, was, why this particular size? Uh, so I have this right there for put in the plate, servo plate or special um, ballast plate you have put in the front at the opening space of the, of the fuselage this contact the canopy for the ballast can move up and down and do not go out of the hole and just move forward and backward in the fuselage so it's secure your fuselage 
and this laid between the CG of the ballast and this point will be in the hole of your plate need to be the same as the, as the distance between the hole in the plate and the CG of your glider so if it's the exact same length then your ballast will be exactly as the CG of the glider and this is what you need to look for and then uh, your glider will have the same uh, compartment it will respond the same as usual and why your ballast need to be the shortest as possible as you have seen my 110 grams and my 80 grams are almost the same length and why you need the more compact as possible because you don't want your glider snack a lot at launch or just is so weak at the rudder and elevator and more your, your bass will be compact less it will affect your yo and roll on pitch all these all these things uh, more your, your ballast will be compact less it will affect this control so I don't know if it's all clear I will say something else so as you have seen the size of the ballast are 20 grams 80 grams for the middle one and 110 grams so Sometimes I use uh, 110 grams in not that much of wind for gain inertia, but how much you can put in your glider. So if it's a strong one, just put as much as you can in it. Because as I said, the snipe can fly at 450 grams, no problem. Some particular case, like the NXT, the airfoil can't carry that much of weight so uh, as Tom Sider said uh, it's around 360 gram maximum for the airfoil uh, on the NXT because uh, this is a particular airfoil uh, for the around the same area the snipe can handle 450 grams so it's crazy it's 90 grams of uh, difference of weight and the glider is I don't know if it's the maximum of weight for the snipe, but uh, it flies great at this weight, so it's it's impressive. And the flits can carry 450 gram too. So check your glider max weight and um, check how much ballast you can put in it and do the max as possible. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, if you liked it drop a good thumbs up if you're not already you can subscribe just under there and leave a comment if you want to ask me for something thank you again for watching and see you next time bye